to say, you weren't there. And I regret that very much. I'd have killed the bastard in the spot. <sighs> Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know. We're careful people, so I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs! I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well,. I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <sighs> Call him in, boys. <clears throat> Hello? Damien! What? But I just... You alone? Why do you cut? Yeah. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs! I made Damien... Boy! Now I'm still trying to figure out why I... Oh, to do... Well, that wait. <laughs>
Hey, you, you, how, how did, did you die? God, you asshole! You set me up. What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Maybe Carl knows something. No, wait, don't! Look, they just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I, I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk. Fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured, if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played. And I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> Alright, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. We've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Ah, oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Hey, you serious? You do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression, but please save him. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
PK don't have better things to do? Seventy-two, twenty-five, seven. Are you okay there? Damn it. He made me lose count. Once more. The bag's there. Thirteen steps from the entrance. Twenty-seven. Wait, uh, two infected ran in at that point. Damn it. I'll never find it again. Find what? My father's CD. The future of mankind depends on it. The future of mankind? Mm-hmm. That's what my father says. Stellan Borg, a professor of cosmology here at the university. Heard of him? He wrote a famous paper, The Cosmology of Virology. Some next-level thinking. So what's on the CD? No idea. My father left it in a backpack. A bag. I don't know. I haven't checked everything. I was 13 paces from the apartment when two infected burst in. No, wait. Three. Do you want me to help you? Would you? Because I... I couldn't even... I, I mean, I could try. But three infected is too many. They'd kill me. Yeah, probably. Right, so here's the deal. The CD is in my father's bag. Or a backpack. And... The bag, or backpack, is in our apartment at 116 Bell Tower Road. That's west off of Horseshoe, close to Meatpacking Square. And remember, the fate of the human race may rest on you retrieving that CD. Father will pay you, uh, of course, when you bring him the CD. He'll be waiting outside the church. I got it. Oh, and here's a tip. Wait till dusk. That's when they leave. They're packed in there during the day. Five in the hall, then two up the stairs. No, three. The Butcher's our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people.
A Sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this. You better be worth it. Thank you. 
The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. No way. One of you might uh, stab me, for all I know. You bet she would. Oh, stop it, Diane. The essence... Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how could I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are going to pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Nara said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hmm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Nara wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> 